Dreaming of You by the Coral. It's and not very long, that song, you know? If you wanted to go for a wee or something, you'd be in a quite a rush. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I only discovered that song because of Scrubs. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I love Scrubs, I do. Well, was that in one of the bits at the end where they, um, they, you know, they teach everything about life? Yeah. That's what I like about Scrubs. See? It's quite philosophical. And Excuse it makes me a moment. <laughs> Man flu. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. I like Scrubs, but I don't like those moments at the end. It all goes a bit twee. But sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they're quite good. But sometimes it's like, oh, let's all let's all go smiley and, and huggy. But and wouldn't clappy. it be nice if life was like that instead of oh, what? Let's have a fight. <laughs> I'd love it much more if everyone was more philosophical and nice and sweet and everyone was happy and pleasant and positive. It's a much nicer world to live in than aggravate. I mean, when you speak to people and you're like, how are you? And it's like, ooh, the pipes need lagging, the missus is moaning, I've got no money and the dog <laughs> needs to get a vet. Really? You know, it's just not, you know. It's just <laughs> True. It's, it's just, like, why do I want to hear is. your misery? It's like, tell me the good things that happen in your life. But I tell you what it is, it's, it's, it'd be alright if they were just happy, but it's too, um, uh, stereotypically television America do you know what I mean American television even, mm -hmm. where it's, it's just sort of oh it's it's too almost too much you know if everyone was just sort of like alright mate yeah that's good and a little smile then you know but do you not think the British are just so miserable sometimes at times we are yeah you know we like to moan it is you enjoyable know, we like to stand in a queue for three hours and moan for the fact that we're just waiting in a queue for three hours yeah, we are a bit odd. Yeah. As a nation. As a nation. Yeah. God bless us, everyone. Yeah, when on Stephen Fry, on, when he was on Jonathan Ross last week, I don't know if you saw it, but he was... Um, Missed a bit. Well, I didn't see it, obviously, because it was live, because obviously we were on there. Um, but I recorded it and saw it, and he was saying about how they got a phrase in America, which is like, uh, only in America, which is like a really positive thing. Like, uh, oh, uh, who would have seen that coming? Only in America. Whereas in Britain, it's like, oh, only in Britain. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's all a very negative vibe, so I'd like to spin it on its head. Okay. Spin on its access. I just want to apologise to everybody uh, if it's been a very random and odd show this week. Um, Are you blaming your man flu? I am. Fully. Okay. Um, what am I blaming? Uh, just your general. Well, I, you know, I've had a bit of a tough week actually, Can emotionally. You? Yeah, it's oh. been very, it's been quite draining. From they very good friends leaving today, isn't she? <laughs> she yeah. is. She yeah. is leaving. She is leaving, and she won't forget me. No, because you just follow her or keep hassling her. Well, I'm not going to follow her. You know, she's going to Ireland. I'll just text her a lot. Well, in fact, no, that'll cost me a lot. So I don't use the internet. Yeah, Send use the emails. internet a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll, that'll work. Be good. Um, and I feel at this point in the show, even though it's been quite a chilled out show, at this point, very chilled out, because we've done most things, haven't we? We've yeah. done ladies at a camp. Yeah. We've done white meat. Yeah. So we played some songs. Yeah. Just have a little relax, put our feet up, and, you know, take it easy. Why not? You know, stick the telly up. <laughs> Well, that's no good. Jonathan Ross is probably on it. Jonathan Ross has more plugs on this show tonight than he's I know. Can I just point out, actually, yeah, I sure. said I wasn't going to do this last week, um, but Celebrity Big Brother obviously finished last week. Oh, of course. I got yeah, my we, we predictions. Really talk about it. I got my predictions completely wrong. Yeah. I'd like to point that out. But, absolutely gutted. How did Ulrika Johnson win? I'm not... Uh, yeah, how did she win? Because nobody was expecting that, was she? No. And she got booed. How can she get booed if she's just won? Well, that's true. Everyone was cheering for Vern Troyer. Bless him for crashing his Sorry, bike. Sorry, you just say how quickly I managed to get that up? Let's talk about Big Brother. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There it is. I am impressed by how quick you got it up. What? Thanks very much. Your big, um... Yeah. Brother theme tune music, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was just a bit shocked by it all, really. And it was a bit of a surprise, I thought. And then at I the party, really only six of them turned up for the celebrity bash. So it's not much of a party, is it? Not six really, people? not really. And I think it's all going to go a bit. It's all going to go a bit mental. A bit so mental. Hang bit on. I was coughing again. A bit mental. Yeah, or when the new mental. series starts, I don't think it's going to be oh, very good. Oh, it run its course now? Can we just... I think so. Yeah. I, and I promise I won't talk about it when the new series oh, starts. Oh, God, no. I've allowed you for a couple of weeks, but nine weeks or eight months or whatever it is. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to no. do it. Although, Dancing on Ice. Oh, ruddy Dancing on Ice. Yeah. Lost Jeremy Sheffield, gutted. But you weren't going to talk about Dancing on Ice, you That's say. true, I'm not. Good. It's all right, then. But right. we lost Jeremy Sheffield and I'm gutted. Jeremy Sheffield? Yeah, oh, Jeremy, Jeremy Sheffield. Edwards! Who's Jeremy Sheffield? Jeremy Sheffield is the gorgeous man who's in the Natalie Umbrella Torn video and he used to be in Hobby City. Jeremy Edwards is the one who just got kicked out of Dancing on Ice. He was also in Hobby City and he used to date Rachel Stevens. Oh, yes. Yes. Me and my showbiz goss. Yes. <laughs> um, talking of showbiz goss, would you. Not really talking showbiz goss, it's a really bad link. Do you want to have a song? Yeah, I quite like to have a song on the sleep. Do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dedicate this song to uh, to Danny Minogue. Um, <laughs> because apparently she might be getting the axe. No. From the X Factor. Well, she didn't do a lot, did she? Well, you know, I thought it was really good and I could put it on a record right now. So that's her usual line. And uh, she got so much Botox, bless her. She looks yeah. fabulous. 
So what is it called? You Won't Forget About Me. Bye. Danny Minow. <laughs> You Won't Forget About Me by Danny Minogue. I love that song. I thought it's quite Kylie esque, that's why I like it. Funny that, being them being sisters. She looks really fit in the video, and the bloke in the video looks really fit as well, and you just think, mmm. Fantastic. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind being a sandwich. No, wouldn't mind being the filler to that sandwich. Yes, you'd be a Pete sandwich, wouldn't you? Because some people, people, some people would have said like a Danny Minogue sandwich or something. Yes, yeah, so but I'd have either. You'd be, you'd be the filling, so you'd I'd be a Pete sandwich. Yeah. They'd have a Pete sandwich. <laughs> Oh, wow. Somebody, somebody's in the mood for the quantized sessions. Hell yeah. Do you know, I must apologise to my sister. I was meant to play a song for you because you've got a new dog called Layla. So I was meant to play Layla by Eric Clapton for you at some point during the show. And it was either meant to be this week or last week, but I completely forgot both weeks. So I do apologise and I'll hopefully do it for you next week. Mm -hmm. Love ya. <sighs> um, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, do, we'll play it next week. Yeah. Any requests for next week? You know, send us an email at mail at gtfm.co.uk or, or go to the Facebook group and leave us a little message, anything you want. And hey, if you want to listen to some old shows, why not go to www www.youtube.com slash ah carry on Friday and you can hear all the better shows because this week's been a bit well not rubbish but a no, bit no hang on don't, don't deny it because some people might like a chilled out yeah, session a bit I like the fact that we talked about boys in drag America England and we've had Aaron on the phone you know the fact that you're wallowing in self pity because you've got nothing. I'm not I'm just, I'm just ill but it's fine I've hardly mentioned it whatever <laughs> um, so so do you want a bit of pants anthem is that what you want because I know everyone else is at home singing. <laughs> you can hear them from here. Indeed. You can hear them from here. <laughs> Do you know, I'm going to go off the drink with you for the next month, I've decided, for what? February. Why is that then? Just to show my support. Thank you. Yeah, so are February. You are you doing 250 sit ups a day as well? So during February, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, we both go off the booze and see how we do and mm. see how we can manage. I'm doing very well. You are, I'm finished. You got through a whole month almost. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. I did have a sip of champagne. I went to see a show the other week. Oh, and right. It was so boring. Oh, right. That I had to sip of champagne to try and get me through it. Okay, it well, that's shocking. kind of allowed. Now, this uh, Palance Anthem is a dedication. Would, would you like to uh, elaborate? I would. It's hello, goodbye. The hello is um, uh, to all the new people that I've met this week. Hello. And goodbye is is to Bex, who's, who's leaving to go to Ireland and will be very sadly missed, certainly by myself. No fag is complete without his hag. <laughs> And trust me, she was a hag. And do you know what? She's leaving, bless her. And she brought me around a little box of food. Oh, you know, like pasta and sauces nice. and things that she's not going to take with her. Just to make sure that I'm going to eat. Oh, <laughs> like that's very that. lovely, isn't it? I know. So I thought we'd play her a bit of the, a bit of the Beatles. Why not? Yeah. With a bit of hello, goodbye. And so from us, it's not hello. Until next week, it's goodbye. goodbye.